Kiva, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be transforming our living room. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that our style was strictly farmhouse. Well, our house is very industrial and that just wasn't working for us. So today we're going to be doing some DIYs, some upcycling, and some serious shopping. If you want to see what we did, how we did it, and how you can do it in your home for the same price or cheaper, please keep on watching. So the first thing we had to do was get rid of all of our old furniture. Now I do not believe in throwing away things that's so wasteful, so we opened up a storage unit a few blocks from our house and we threw everything in there. That was the worst day, it was a lot of lifting, but it only took us two hours and now all of our old furniture we can use in our next home or if our style changes. So this is what our living room looked like before. If you watch my older video on my farmhouse industrial tour, this is not what it looked like, but we were trying a minimalist look here and it just really was not working for us. Our couch didn't work in this position. We couldn't watch TV. It just wasn't conducive to our lifestyle. So we took all of this, threw it into storage, and took down all of our art and returned it to the store. We left the tags on everything and kept all the receipts just in case we didn't like how things turned out. what kind of style we wanted to go for. In our living room before, it was very farmhouse, our bedrooms are very bohemian, but we needed to firmly decide what our entire house was gonna look like. I will say that the rest of our house is still in pro progress, but the living room is done. So we decided we wanted to go with modern. I love restoration hardware. I don't always love paying for restoration hardware, but I love restoration hardware. I love the way it looks. So the first thing we did after clearing out the whole living room was go to the restoration hardware store and look for some inspiration. The restoration hardware store actually has catalogs. They are all free. They come with these huge booklets and you can flip through and get inspo that way. You can also go to the store and take pictures. I have a Pinterest board. I have tons of restoration hardware and other modern things pinned there. And I use that as a resource, but it was a lot better to go into the store and see what looked good together and what would actually look nice in my home. I also took the time to actually talk to someone at restoration hardware. I really love to design myself, but it's always nice to get another person's opinion. Um, so we met with her, we talked with her for a few minutes, and then I came home and planned out things in terms of me measurements, what I think would look nice, so on and so forth. This was moments after our couches got delivered. They looked perfect, we just had to fluff up the cushions and put them together. sofa from Kroller. They actually came a week after we ordered them. They're very affordable. Um, one thing that we had to make sure before ordering them is because this couch is so modern, we had to make sure that it would fit in the door. So that's a really important thing to think about when you're redoing your home. Can the things that I want actually fit into my home? Because if they don't fit, they're just going to take them back to the store. You're going to get more frustrated and honestly, you're probably just going to give up on the project. So we came home, we did the measurements, make sure that everything would look nice because we ultimately ended up with a parallel arrangement. So we have one couch on either side of the room. Our house is an open floor plan, so we have the kitchen, dining areas, and living room. So you have to be really intentional with where you place things. So we actually used tape um, and measured everything out, out to make sure that we had enough living space, but it also looked the way that we wanted to, because if you saw the clip earlier, our couch was against the wall, and then it was in an L shape, and that really just wasn't the best use of the space. So planning out and taking your time was really important. I am the first person to admit that when I want something, I want it now. So I have the habit of buying something just because it's easy, but this is your home, you want it to look beautiful. I want my house to look like a showroom. Every time somebody walks in, I want to be like, wow. So sometimes it just takes a little bit of patience. So as I said yesterday, we got our couches. We're really loving them. I'm gonna show you what it looks like this morning, the setup that we're kind of working with. We have, you know, stuff that's not gonna stay. We have these two couches, this rug that's too small, this chest that I love, but I just am, the color's not working for me because we wanted to match this wood up there. So we're looking for a new coffee table today, a media stand, and some lamps to go back here because it's very dark back here. So that's what we're doing today. My best friend came from out of town, so she's gonna help us do some shopping, and we're gonna get to it. Our first stop was Home Goods. Home Goods is a great place to get trinkets, rugs, um, literally anything. So we went and searched for some rugs. We also wanted to look for some art because we have huge walls and art that size is so expensive, but Home Goods has really great finds. We actually found some amazing things, not this trip, but I had to show you all these amazing rugs. I did end 
just buying some things from Restoration Hardware, but there are a lot of things I did not buy from Restoration Hardware other than the couches. The first thing I knew that I wanted were cast lighting. Restoration Hardware is famous for that. In any catalog, you'll see them. Um, but those lights are very expensive and they just don't need to be. I mean, there's only so much a light that is going over your pillow is gonna do for you. So I went to Ikea. Every time I go to Ikea, I make sure to have Pinterest or some other photo ready to go because it's very easy to walk in there and get lost. So I ended up getting these Ipper Lid lights. They were $59.99 a piece and they look just like some of the task lighting from Restoration Hardware. In the description box below, I will link the ones that I got from Ikea and the ones that are almost identical from Restoration Hardware. You just kind of have to pick and choose where your money's gonna go. I think if you walk into my house and you didn't know that they were from Ikea, you would think that they were from Restoration Hardware. We've had so many people walk in here so far and be like, oh, that's amazing. It is amazing. I just didn't pay as much as you thought I did. So I really wanted to add some earthiness to the home, but we have these huge, beautiful windows that since we live on the first floor, we really don't like to leave them open because people can see into our home. So to add a little bit of earthiness without having plants in here that would end up dying because of the lack of sunlight, we got this grass, it's from Pier 1. It's currently 20% off, but it is going to go out of season soon. Um, to stop it from shedding on the floor, you just throw some hairspray on it, but it adds like, you know, a nice vertical dimension to our home because it really towers over you. And it's a nice brown wheat color. So it's very earthy. So again, the things that we decided to get from Restoration Hardware were the gilt mirror, the Chagrin coffee table, and the Chagrin media stand. Chagrin is a leather. Um, it looks very gray, but it has a lot of texture. I love that look. This is what the living room is looking like right now. So cute. We're gonna get things to like this. We're gonna put some paintings over there and honestly, we're gonna be done. So after buying my media stand, I decided that I really needed something to go inside of the media stand. I love trinkets. I normally rely on home goods and at home to find things like that. But something that I wanted to really do was get um, coffee table books. Coffee table books can be so expensive, but we actually found out that if you go on Amazon, you can get them for a good price, and they came literally less than 24 hours later. So we got coffee table books from Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Alexander McQueen. They look so elegant, they're such a good price, and they fill up that space. But um, it really adds a level of elegance to your home for a really good price. Something else I did was get some vases and some sculptures from Home Goods. These things can be so expensive elsewhere. My biggest tip is to go as often as you can. Decor is very difficult to find. You're not gonna get what you want on your first go, especially if you're not willing to pay full price. I got this sculpture that looks like I really did buy it from Restoration Hardware or from an artist. It was like 20 bucks. It just involved me going to Home Goods at like Monday at 9 p.m., you know? You just have to put time into this sort of thing. I also got some vases. They ended up being $10 or $16 a piece. They look like I paid top dollar for them. Something else that I did is I got a lot of my artwork from Home Goods. So artwork is a very controversial thing. Some people feel like you need to spend thousands of dollars in artwork. Some people disagree, but you kind of have to choose a style and go with it. We really love the abstract here in our home and we love the color blue. Blue is really the only color we're comfortable with. So every painting in our house, besides the ones done by my family, are from Home Goods and we make sure they all have the same colors and they're all very abstract. We also made sure that they were all in frames that match. Brass slash gold is kind of like our accent color. So all the frames are uh, brassy gold um, and we make sure that they all have texture on them. If you are going to a home goods and at home someplace like that and you don't want to spend a lot of money on your paintings, you have to make sure that if there's canvas, you have to run your hand on it and make sure that there's some texture because a huge part of art is it having some dimension. So you can get art for cheap. You got to make sure it just actually looks like somebody painted it, not like they took a printer and did it like that. Right now, Velvet is in. Velvet is so elegant, but Velvet is also expensive. So we wanted to get Velvet curtains and we went to Ikea at Restoration Hardware. It's $600 for the link that we needed. So I wanted these curtains, so we went to Ikea. They're called Samela, and they're 118 inches long and they are velvet, they are beautiful, and they are gray. Ikea is a great place to go, especially if you don't have curtain rods already installed. 
The bar is $3, the brackets are $1.50 each, so you can just throw them up there. Um, we're kind of going for that flowy look, so we left them actually pretty long and they just kind of hang on the floor. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with that, that's really popular right now, but that does accumulate dust, so I got a little hem kit, so I think I'm going to hem them. So to bring some more earthiness to home, to the home, besides the grass, I bought this huge vessel from Home Goods. It took a lot of looking, these vessels can be very, very expensive online. Um, but vessels are very in right now. It looks very earthy because it's actually made of wood. It's not polished or anything. It looks like they just carved it and sent it to the store. And this piece is so amazing. I don't know what it is about it that I love, but one thing it did teach me is instead of buying all those little trinkets that you look look nice, that you think look nice, that's great, but you actually can't see them. Like nobody really cares what's in your cabinet. People really care about the big pieces. That's what you see, that's what makes a statement. So this big vessel makes a statement as soon as you walk in, you're like, oh wow, this is modern. I see what they're going for. So again, just like the mirror, that's what we did with this vessel. Go big or go home is basically what we did. I definitely did take most of our stuff to store, but I also upcycled some things. You can always make your old furniture work. Maybe not the couches, but you know, your armoires, your dressers, your just, um, console tables, you can upcycle them. So what we did is we took something that was an old media stand, which really is just like a dresser and we made it into a little bar and a little um, table to go under our artwork. It's just a nice little display, especially since we actually bought these picture lights, these modern picture lights from IKEA. We're gonna mount them above every piece of artwork and it's just gonna make everything look like it's on display like you're at a gallery, which adds a nice level of elegance, but they're actually on sale. They're only $9.80 a piece. They're normally $16.99, but picture lights generally can be from $400 to $100 to be expensive. So you just gotta look for the good deals. But we I upcycled this piece of furniture, we turned it into a little bit of a bar and it just looks really cute and like it belongs. To, you know, add a little bit of modern even to places that aren't so modern are our island. Our kitchen is white, our granite is speckled. It's not what you say modern. It's very clean, it's very beautiful, but it just doesn't really match with what we've got going over here. So I bought this beautiful plate from Home Goods and I got some moss balls from Target. They were only $9.99 a pack. I used two packs and I filled them with moss balls. Having vessels with moss balls in them is something that's really big for most region hardware. So again, just for creating what you see in those elegant homes makes your home look more elegant. You don't necessarily have to pay that price. You just kind of have to do the same sort of thing. Yeah, so I just threw them in the bowl and arranged them so they were evenly distributed. This looks so RH and it brings kind of vibe up. It brings our modern vibe over to this side of the room. Once we got the coffee table in the mail, we actually decided that our coffee table books didn't really work on the coffee table because we do want to sit here, we want to eat, we want to entertain here. So having coffee table books on there all the time doesn't really work. Also, since the coffee table is so big, we need a huge book and we just don't have that. So we ended up putting all the coffee table books in the media console, but we decided to create a huge candle to go on the coffee table. Buying huge candles is very expensive. They take forever to come. Nobody sells them in stores. And since this coffee table is like almost four feet by more feet, um, it's really big. So you need a huge candle. So we actually got a gold plate from Target. It was only $34 um, and it, it has a little bit of hype to it. So we got some wax from Joanne and we poured it in and cut our own wicks and it looks like a nice, beautiful, elegant candle that we paid big money for. It takes up enough space on the coffee table and it looks like a nice statement piece without cluttering the surface. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back. If there's anything that you want to buy that we purchase or if you want any ideas on how to make your home look like ours or how to transform your home, please let me know down in the comments. Every item that I purchase except for those from Home Goods are linked down below. Um, I love doing this project. I love bringing you along with me. Please remember to subscribe and thank you so much for watching.